did he do a drone scout? No. So we see an SCV headed out for last hit magic. Um, Don't. That, yeah. I'm gonna say something that this might be a problem. He's sending his he's sending his overlords out, and he's going marine first, so he might get he stands the problem of being supply blocked early here if he does not turn the overlord around. Just well. Yeah, he might have seen this one headed close to the main right now. He does have a Marine in position to deny any scouting information. Finally moving that other one as well. These Ling's going to deny this SCV. Let's see what he actually sees. He sees the gas just finishing, knowing that it was just taken. Uh, Queen finally coming out. And, uh, yeah, uh, Terran player pretty much saw all he needed to see there. And, uh, uh -oh. This overlord is going to poke in a little bit. Um, uh oh, what? I don't know, because I don't want to lose it, because he went pool first, so. Reaper has a uh, uh, It's not oh, like. Well, this could be. I didn't see this come out. This could do a little harassment uh -huh. here. A uh, scouting Reaper coming out. Um, needs to watch it. And uh, that late speed. Well, he's making another one, so he's going to send that across. Um, gonna maybe clean off these scout slash harassment zerglings as this uh, natural goes down for the Terran player. Um, where'd the other Reaper go? He is healing back up, and these two will be a duo and uh, pair up and maybe see if they can do a little more scouting or harassment before that speed comes out. Uh, natural finishing up for the Terran player. Um, factory finished as well. That reactor also about to be done. Hellion this, transition. This build looks lively. identical to the one the last Zerg did. The 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 all in. He's getting four queens. He's getting that. Well, he's not getting main one. That's the well, one. Still uh, staying on that, two base. The one. That, yeah, I mean, he has a lot of minerals. He's took off gas. He's getting a lot of queens. Um, that's more. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. He, he's got a lot of he drones. He looks like he wants to, he's going to do something crazy. That's all well, I know. Well, he's got a lot of drones coming out behind this. I do this kind of style where I rush out speed and then try to get really greedy and get a lot of queens for defense and a lot of drones. Wait, um, wait, we like, do you like rush out speed and like not make any lings? Just like, I, I'm just going to get speed just to get it, and then I'm going to take a third. Well, maybe he is doing some sort of a predetermined timing here, as he is taking this gas in the natural, even though he's not mining off his extractor in the main. So maybe as soon as that finishes, he has some sort of timing where, yeah, see, he gets uh -oh. two gas now. He's doing yeah. the Lucidian build, Dalt. Where he what? just like takes his third and just like you know pits on aggression behind it. <laughs> oh jeez. That's what I would do. Um, yeah, but we do see that there is no bailing nest or lair yet. So um, these lings headed out and about and just getting a good map presence for a Terran player. This overlord poking in, gonna see these double eBays. These two marines will clean it up. Um, the Terran player does not know about this third yet. Uh, and the the Zerg player pretty much seeing uh, everything he needed to. Um, Baneling he's, oh. he's like, all right, I'm going to saturate my two bases, and then I'm just going to try to kill him. Yeah, I mean, as a Zerg player, it's always worth it to try to do massive damage on a Terran player. Um, yeah, right when you, especially right when you before. saturate both your bases, too, it's like, all right, well, I'm at a point where I can hit like a nice little time in it. Is Terran playing a little too greedy, or... He, doesn't have the right tech out, I might be able to like kill him. Yeah, I mean, we do see that he has his starboard coming out, some more barracks, his upgrades on the way, a lot of Reapers and Hellions. Um, so as long as he stays off creep, he might be okay and be able to avoid this. I don't see... Uh, he's producing 10 lings now, but he's getting his upgrades, he's throwing down a war torn, his lair's about to finish. That might be more of defensive play. And he's taking the other gas. He might be doing the the, the <sighs> super duper Roach Baneling stuff where he's like, oh, I'm gonna like just saturate the hell out of these three bases and then kill you slowly yeah. and silently. I mean, he has good creep spread coming out, and uh, yeah, our Terran player is just sitting at home with uh, these Reapers and Hellions. Um, not really trying to force any lings or map presence, deny any of his creep spread. I think that's a really big mistake. Um, these Ling's gonna poke forward now, see what's going on. 
Well, he's, uh, he's got a nice overlord spread, too. I want to say that. He's got he's got a good crease spread and a good overlord spread, so. Yeah. He feels really safe, and he knows he's only heavily in doubt, so. Oh, sorry. That We got a little engagement there. Those slings engaging the Hellions on the ramp. Uh, supplies uh, pretty much even. Um, that creep spread, though, just getting out of control. Like, it's really good. Um, and he's going to see this third trying to go. Then, his uh, ling is... I, is this Ling going to block this? Yeah, does like, he know? Yeah, yeah, he still doesn't... Well, the Terran player still doesn't know for sure that the third one is down for our Zerg player, but is Ling going to block the orbital for yep. a little bit here? Um, he said, I ain't no fool. I'm playing this, playing this safe. Going to get saturate these three bases. I'm going to win. There's no way the Dirk or the Terran can beat me because I got three bases and he can't even saturate his third yet or even land it. So well, I like where our Zerg is at. Oh, sorry, I just need a little bit of water. Um Finally finally knows about the third now. So Terran is like, well, this is bad. I have to do something pretty quick. Oh, he did finally see, yeah. Yeah. And saw that the gases were taken. So, yeah. I mean, he is pushing out here. Um, and this is probably a good time if he's going to do it. It looks like he had Baneling Speed on the way. It wow. just finished. It just finished. He has Muta as well. Oh, a lot of Muta. Jesus. He's going to see all that creep. He's like, ah. Oh. His marines are stepping in all that purple goo. Like, so, Jesus, how is this here? Eight muta, 23 lings, and 66 drones versus the Terrans, about 50 SCVs and 25 marines. I don't know, that's a pretty even fight, but the uh, Terran player does back up. Um, he he has those six gas, so he's just going to continue to pump a uh, muta ling, ling, get those upgrades. Uh, throws down a macro hatch as well as his infestation pit. Um... Yeah, I mean, this used to be the old style of ZVT that you would see. Um, but uh, with the int introduction of mines, um, uh, just kind of shut this kind of play down. And then along with the Terran drops and the Medivac, it's, it's really hard. And Hellbats, too, if they sprinkle those in. But um, these Terrans, or these Mutas, just uh, going to do a lot of harassment. Um, oh, our, our Zerg's in a nice spot. Yeah. Well, I think really not denying that creep spread early is going to hurt uh, Last Hit Magic. Yeah. And then he's, he's got a, a nice Overlord spread, too. Look at the, he's got, he's got, he's got Vision of the Main, Vision of the Third. He's, he's, you know, Vision of all the, all the possible ways he can be dropped, so. Yeah. He's looking good. Um, yeah, Vision really good for, uh, man, it's hot in here. I want to turn on my fan, but. <laughs> It'd be so loud for you guys. Lots of Bane links, yeah. I mean, he's just going to try to overwhelm this for us, I think. Um, so unless there's perfect Widow Mine detonations or something like that, this isn't looking good. Um, I mean, uh, these Muta still roaming the map, trying to do some harassment, looking for a fourth. Maybe if it's there, they will be sadly disappointed. Um, so many Bane links just... That's not going to be a cost efficient, but who the hell cares when you have so many pain lines. Um, his fourth going down. The screen spread. that fourth sooner, though. One thing, got to be a little critical, but he, he's like, eh, hey, what the hell? What, Taren, they catch up quick. Look, yeah. he's already saturated at that third. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, both players having decent banks. Um, this bunker and these turrets in a good position. Terran is actually should, should ahead deny in this. the supply count, so... Oh, like, oh uh, T Terran is not in a bad spot by any means. He just needs yeah. to... Oh, take good engagements like all these bandlings and oh my god. Uh-oh. Oh. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, man, just so many bandlings. And uh, that was... That was pretty decent. I mean, he he's oh. reloading on lings and he threw down an ultra cavern behind us. But, I mean, supplies are still relatively similar, especially when you're reloading on lings. I mean, I don't care if they're about to be 3-3 or not. The Terran has 3-3 on the way. Uh, but the, oh, the straight baneling. 
Yeah, just trying oh, to take some out. Oh, oh I thought oh, just okay. kamikaze style. These muta just sitting here, kind of being idle and doing nothing. Uh, so well, if, there, if there was if there was no bunker at that third though, that one ling and one main ling would have like wreaked untold havoc though. Infestor's getting picked off, just super heavy on the ling bling still. Uh, not saving much of a bank for Ultralis at all. Just really trying to overwhelm his opponent now before he gets too strong. I think. Terran on three bases is pretty tough. Um, these Widow Mines spread out. Good scouting. Um, early damage on anything that may come across. This Overseer may be welcomed by them. No, they decide to unburrow. Uh, this could be really dangerous if uh, Last Hit Magic doesn't see this coming back uh -oh. at home. Um, he needs to get that uh, depot yeah, up, I think. Yeah, he could have just up, ran up into the production, um, but he's going to try to play it. He decides to pick up. Uh, uh, Burrows uh, and Widow Mines. Um, yeah, like I said, he's just trying to uh, overrun his opponent right now before he gets too strong on three bases. Uh, and looks like he's doing a pretty good job of it, repairing that third and trying to split at his natural. Uh, uh -oh. pull the oh, CVs. That attack didn't. Uh, that Terran held that pretty pretty handily. Yeah, I mean he did. Uh, Supply is still dead even. Um, these infestors going down are huge. Uh, these mutas no aren't doing anything up there at, at, at the at the bottom right though. He, he's just got them sitting there, not in the fight and not killing. You know, harassing. Some, he could be killing lots of these tech labs and stuff. And some lings he's not. getting some more damage done in the natural. It seems like he didn't have a scan, so that one infestor does get away, which is vital because full energy Final infestor. I mean. Uh, finally sees these mutas. Mutas finally doing some more work. Um, ultras uh, finally He's, being sprinkled. Yeah, fighting in. mutas with marines. That's not how you want to do adults. That's not the answer. Loses the mutas. Um, let's. I don't actually know who's ahead at this point. Uh, 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 army supplies are relatively even, but banelings and ultras and well, I'm gonna, are pretty yeah, good. I'm going to say the Terran is well. He's 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 in a nice spot. He's got the deserves got the tech, but you know all the mutas are dead, and drops. now his fourth is getting harassed mercilessly. So Dr yeah, see. yeah, drops on both the edge bases. Uh, finally, trying to do some harassment while he goes through the middle, and he's going to try to clean up some of this. These Widow Mines would be huge pickoffs, but the Zerg player actually doesn't get any of them. Uh, trying to clean up some of this creep as well. This drop finally cleaned up in the main. Um, just parade pushing more units across the map. Uh, Zerg player trying to get in good position with his Bane Wings and Ultras and Fungals. Uh, splitting off a little Terran Force here for a drop. Uh, infestors and one ultra say uh -oh. I'm all over that. Queen saying I can there. help out too. Use of, not very efficient use of fungal growth, but yeah. Well, it's good that he was able to bait that out. And Terran players yeah, just kind of back up after clearing out some creep. And um, yeah, Bur burrowed ling. Terran and, has to be a little a little scared because one thing Terran do complain about is the ultra risks, all right? And it's not a good part of well. Especially, especially paired with fungal and banelings, but we do yeah, see. Yeah, he's got this. This this hurts the bio. All right, this this composition right here. We do see drops continuing to be annoying, and this ling and this overlord being really cheeky, just denying this fourth base for the Terran player. Um, that drop being cleaned up. These mines still being cheeky as well in the middle of the map. There is an overseer, so. And um, boy, they will they, they will be cleaned up eventually, but he has the the resets, yeah. So they would uh, still get damage done. So pulling his opponent apart, uh, another drop. Oh, no. Um, in the fourth, I guess you could call it of RKB. Um, yeah. So really back and forth game, well played by both players. I mean, these drops are really doing some damage. I mean. Last hit, finally maxed out once again. RKB struggling to get there. His mineral bank really not where it should be. Uh, great on gas, though. And then uh, this uh -oh. drop. The nat or oh, the third. Or third being double dropped here by the Terran. Um, oh, but he doesn't. Definitely definitely a mistake there. He could have. Yeah, I mean, he's got boost available, too. Uh, finally saying 
you know, one fungal could be a bad day, so I'm going to mm -hmm. get out of there. Um, these infestors just kind of chill.